All right, guys, so we're back in the truck. And we were headed into Canada. They let me go. They just wanted to search everything. You know, the truck is wrapped. It's loaded down with gear and there's totes and boxes and all kinds of stuff. So they just were a little suspicious of what I was doing. Uh, I had a bundle of firewood with me. They made me leave that. I couldn't leave my, or take my firewood. So other than an hour delay, we are headed into Canada. Hey guys, we are in Surrey, Canada, and we are about to head to uh, a couple different destination stops. Waiting for Bob. We took some stuff out of the Tacoma, put in the flatline trailer, I mean flatline, <laughs> the nine line trailer so we can lighten some load, lighten up the load a little bit, and uh, make room for Bob's gear because we're gonna be camping basically somewhere in the next two nights before we get to the, the BC Overland Rally. So. Are we next to like an insane asylum? I don't know. Where, like, where are we at right now, Chase? That's that's two already. <laughs> that's two, two meth heads in a row, just going insane. Like in public and just. That's crazy, man. Yeah. It was, it's odd. Like it's, it's very odd. It's freaking scary. Vancouver, Canada. That's that We're outside Vancouver, Canada. Everybody kind of looks tweaked out in this little area. Yeah, like there's another one sitting right there. This is this is odd. That is very odd. We're going to retreat to the woods. Yeah, definitely. Oh. This... We're going to head along the coast. Oh, yeah, the right here. Go, speed race. Here go. <laughs> All right, so our plans are to you get on your phone. Cap, what's it called? Capilano Suspension Bridge. Capilano Suspension Bridge, which is biggest. It's a giant suspension bridge <laughs> that spans. Let's see. We'll insert clip here. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we're headed now. Then after that is. All right, so after the suspension bridge, the Capilano Suspension Bridge, we're gonna go to White Cliff Lookout Point. And then that's in, uh, it's in towards BC. And then peak to peak gondola, which is in Whistler, Canada. We're probably gonna hit that up tomorrow. Yeah. That is the world's largest gondola. That's gonna be crazy. It's 1,400 feet high and 1.8-ish miles long. and goes for over a minute of just this giant cable running between two mountain peaks. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty legit. So we've, we've been on the road for, you know, however many days it's been, and we've been kind of at a show, so that we have, we've had yesterday, today, tomorrow, and part of the next day that sort of be off, I guess. So we're taking advantage of that in Canada to try to do as much adventuring and exciting things as possible the end of today and all day tomorrow and Thursday morning. Street. So that's where we are, what we are doing right now and where we're headed. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? I'm freaking stoked, man. I'm ready to get out of the concrete and get onto some dirt. Heck yeah. <laughs> So we went to the Capilano suspension bridge, made it to the entrance, and we decided uh, we're not going to do that because <laughs> we uh, it costs like 50 bucks, and we're looking for like non-sanctioned stuff to do, like out of uh, <laughs> an amusement park. Type yeah, of like it, this is more like amusement park type stuff. Like I looked it up, but me I'm sure it's really cool. Uh, I'm, like, I'm sure, sure it's, it's awesome. epic, but like, but it's like it's too structured. If yes. that, if that makes any sense, like that's a, we're great, looking, that's a great way to put it. Yeah, like we're looking to do something 
way cooler than going to Six Flags in Canada. And like, okay, you turn left here, hold the rail, don't step off of the yeah. platform. Like if I want to try to jump off the cliff and fall a thousand feet, and I want to be able to. Off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's the best way to put it though, the unstructured yeah. aspect. Yeah, Un unstructured activity. It kind of takes the adventure away from Yeah. What so we're, we're learning. learning. We're learning. Yeah. This is my first time in Canada, like really kind of getting to explore. This yeah. is Chase's first time ever, ever in Canada. Canada. So yeah. So we're excited. We're gonna get on the Sea to Sky Highway. Yeah. Plus, we couldn't leave Shyla behind. Yeah, we couldn't leave the adventure dog not adventuring with us. So I'm I'm pretty excited about it now, right? Yeah. All we're right. gonna we're gonna find something cool. We just gotta get our bearings straight here. Yeah. Hey, but this, you know, all in all, this is part of the adventure. It is. You know? Learning and going. Yeah. All so, right. There we go. Neat guys and gals. White fish. I don't remember the name of it anymore. Anyway, this is a really cool just lookout point. So we basically drove in from over there. We came down the backside there in the brush, walked down, and then came out this way. And went up that way and kind of looked at it. I didn't take all the way top because Shadow don't think I don't want her to slide off of there, you know? So, I let her go up to right there. I brought her back down so she could go swimming. All right, Bob, so what'd you think of that? That was, that was pretty legit. I went all the way up to the top of the rock. I didn't go all the way up there because I didn't want Shia to fall down, but either way, this is a freaking legit spot. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, it's worth, worth the stop. We've only been here for about 30 minutes, so not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. This is definitely a good spot. Okay, so we did, what was that whitefish? White cliff. White cliff. Yeah, white cliff. All right, we just tackled white cliff. That was like A plus on our last minute stop, right? Yeah, because it, it's all just kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. Yeah. And so, so the ultimate goal is, is Whistler. So we're gonna get to Whistler. It's about an hour from us right now. An hour from where we're at right now. This is a very scenic drive on Horseshoe Bay Drive. Horseshoe Bay Drive. Yeah. And uh, so what our plans are, because we've got to find camp tonight, that's one, but two, we've got basically a whole day to kill tomorrow. So we're gonna get to Whistler, that area, and then we're gonna talk to some of the local, look at this, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, we're gonna talk to some of the locals, and like, look. In 400 meters, use the right lane to take the ramp to... Oh my gosh. Huh. We just have to pause here for a moment to uh, admire the beauty that is around us. I just turned the volume down on the... <laughs> yeah, we're going the right way. All right. So anyway, we're gonna get there and uh, we're gonna basically find some locals and be like, look, we're adventure people. Are you adventure people? Like, 
I think you have to be an adventure person to live here. If you don't believe us that we're adventure people, just come look at the truck. Yeah, <laughs> look outside, you know? Anyway, so we're gonna like kind of ask around, like, hey, what's some cool stuff to do that's adventurous slash off-grid slash mind-blowing? And that's kind of what we're going for. You know, just kind of by, uh, what'd you say, flying off the seat of our pants? Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> like, we're trying to use Google and stuff, but it's really, you know, it's fun to look stuff up, but yeah, it's I mean, we, way we, cooler to find local people and see what they do. Yeah. Because we're like, I'm like over 3,000 miles away yeah. from home right now, and I think you are too at this point. Yep, I am too. So, so I mean, we, we have a, a you know a rough general idea slash plan, but not really. Yeah. yeah <laughs> we know where we need to be and the day we need to be there by, and we're just trying to fit as much cool stuff in between here and there. So, all right, let's get to it. <laughs> Dude, it's raining. <laughs> it is raining. <laughs> and there's snow. Hey, look, snow. Hey, look, shorts. <laughs> oh, my God. We're stupid. I know it. <laughs>